Hello, once again, it's Mr. Pete, also known as Tubal Cain, and I just made a two-part video on an auction that I attend, attended just last uh, yesterday, and all of a sudden today, two hours ago, I received a phone call from a friend about 25 miles away, and he says, come on over, we've hit the jackpot, I've got boxes and boxes of free tools and uh, so on, so I just got back home, and the car is loaded and the springs are sagging so now we got to go through this stuff and uh, see what we got. I, I know that there's at least one major item that I like and it's a Wilton bullet vise. I think it's about a four incher. That was worth the trip alone. Alright, let me start unpacking this and getting it on the tables on the floor so, you, so even I can kind of get an idea of what uh, we've got here and I want to thank the person that gave it to me, but she wishes to remain anonymous. It's about 15 minutes later, and I'm starting to make a bit of a dent. There's that Wilton vice I talked about. Well, the car is finally unloaded. There's a rather nice, high-quality American flag there that I will use in front of my house. But here's what we have initially. I got a box of stuff. Now I think there's a lot of junk in these boxes too. Piles of hangers here. Now this grinder I'm not too crazy about. Speedway. I got a full tank of propane and all kinds of extension cords. And another trap there for ground squirrels. This bicycle is all aluminum. I think it's really a high-end bike. Aluminum wheels also. Not too crazy about it. Might get rid of it. I don't like a 10-speed. And there's a helmet, and I hate helmets. Okay, here's that Wilton 4-inch vise I was bragging about, and that's going to need a little work, but I'm going to go into detail on, on all of this stuff later. Just show you initially what we got here. Again, some junk. Some of it was kind of pushed on me. There are six of these banker boxes full of stuff. They're quite heavy. I had a heck of a time of getting them out. And then, uh, well, there's those aluminum wheels. And we got here a box full of, I don't know what, another box of miscellaneous, a toolbox, and then all this stuff on the floor here, long stuff. So, I'm about beat. It's 10 o'clock at night. And uh, tomorrow, we'll start going through this stuff. Oh, here's another container of something separating it and uh, and seeing just what we have and this I believe will have to be a two-part video so I will see you in the morning which is really just two seconds from now okay it's the next morning already and I'm ready to go to work are you now I'm going to sort all of this merchandise here into four categories one is just plain throwing it away right in the garbage which I have behind me. Number two would be uh, lay aside for the recycler if it's steel or aluminum or something like that. And number three, there'll be some things I'll probably give away, maybe even take to the Salvation Army or something like that. And then the fourth category, of course, is going to be to keep it. And this is going to take a long time. Remember, it's a two-part video. If it gets too boring or repetitious, just uh, fast forward or go to the end or something like that. But I'm hoping to find some treasures. But now I realize my friend Larry was there before me. And I'll show you the picture later. But he did find two nice steric micrometers. And I think maybe it has been picked through a little bit. Although I didn't think so at first. A lot of this stuff was kind of forced on me. I didn't want all of it but I was helping to clean out uh, a building. Now, I think the, the material, I think everything came from a man 
who was rather wealthy and he died about 15 years ago and the stuff was put into storage when they cleaned his house out and now they have to clean the storage building. So that's the source of this stuff. The, and so let's take a look at it, the good, the bad, and the ugly. Let's get started. Again, here's the game plan. If you like this type of video, look at my playlist, which has about 20 videos on tool auctions and estate auctions. I'll put a clickable link in the description. Let's start with this red toolbox, but I believe that this other tray that I have here, which was too big to go into the box, actually belonged in that box, so let me sort this first. Again, there's some real junk here. That's a little bench vise, but it's aluminum. A little bit different than what you usually see. Normally they're cast iron. I'm sure it's an import, but it's been around a while. That'd be perfect for Henry. And this is mainly sockets. Now, these are older sockets. Industro brand. I do have some of their tools. They actually were pretty quality, but I'm seeing some rust here, which I don't like. There's the big breaker bar, and probably a full set of sockets here, all industro as far as I'm concerned. There's a nice little die holder with a die in it. Junk. Now there's a three-quarter drive socket on a long extension. Rusty, probably not worth keeping. Another little die holder, and here's a 3 8 that's it says action on it, that's junk. Um, all kinds of, that's an Armstrong, so there, there's a sorted material in here as well. I'm not going to go through all of this, but there's a lot of sockets and some, some hardware, and I'll save those big washers, those are always kind of useful. Nothing real great here, but... This is worth keeping, even though I already have a million sockets. I noticed this is an industrial toolbox. You don't see that name anymore, but those were quality tools years ago. There's an electrolyte, pretty good sized box wrench. You know, not novelty tools like this. You know, you know that I'm not even. Well, of course it doesn't work. Um, you know, that's garbage. There's another pretty good size wrench. Crescent wrench, genuine, 8 inch, black. I like those. That's a piece of laboratory equipment, isn't it? Now this is about useless, but it is a Fiskars. That would be handy for drilling holes in drywall if the drywall wasn't too hard uh, for hanging pictures or something. But, it, you know, that's a piece of junk really, isn't it? I consider it a junk. There's a screwdriver. Some of this I'll go through kind of rapidly if it isn't, you know, that valuable. A lot of cheap screwdrivers in here. Something like that I can always use, although I got ten of them. Bent nose pliers, but it looks foreign made. More wrenches, those are kind of nice. Billings, those are Billings wrenches. Fuses, we don't use that size anymore, I don't think. Powercraft, that's Monkey Wards. More of those. Cheap tape roll. Dime a dozen. Hang that right there with three more of them. Just what I need. These Billings wrenches were really high quality. Been out of business since the dawn of time. Something like this I don't go for. Five eighths. Craftsman. Still under warranty. Push pins, more fuses.
What is that? That was the Billings set, wasn't it? With one wrench left. Well, that does it for this box. I'll put some of those stuff, some of those things back in, and then that can go in. Next. Okay, here's a box of miscellaneous. Let's see what's in here. If anything good, I don't have real high hopes. You know what? I actually can use it. These only last a year. Have you ever noticed that? And mine has already stuck. Yeah, that's a good one. My wife will be happy. Sharpies if they're not dried out because some of this stuff, as I told you, is pretty old. This kind of stuff is just absolutely <clears throat> worthless. Some kind of adapter that something to do with a trailer. More cables. Accu gauge. I think that's for tires. I'll be darned. Three boxes of 22 short blanks. You know what? I'll have fun with those. That's kind of neat. Lucky dog. Dog boots. Just what Jordan's... $15 for dog boots. My gosh. Alright, here's for... You know, Jordan's a duck and a goose hunter, so and he's got a dog. Black Retriever, what do you call those? So maybe he can use some of that stuff and... We like to go shooting, and there we got some earplugs, more earplugs. Well, that's about the extent of that box. Not real great, but a few usable things. Well, here's another box. Don't get your hopes up. I kind of like these. Good. That's good. Polishing cream. Metal polishing. I don't polish. McGuire's. That probably cost ten bucks. Syringes. I hope there's no needles in there. Safety glasses. Empty fuel. Hooks. Bottle of water, pretty small bottle of water. Screw eyes. Oh, there's a good new paintbrush. Fasteners. Another screwdriver. Handy knife, I got a million of them. Lufkin folding ruler. Blades you can always use, and hooks, and more blades, hooks. Oh, 16 foot tape. In perfect condition. I don't know what all this stuff is. Hope there's nothing illegal in here, or immoral. Straps, which I can always use. Hey. Jordan will like that. More earplugs. I think, is that a dog whistle? Might be a dog whistle. I'm making a pile for Jordan. Duck. Training scent, more whistles, these things, this guy must have been a hunter, pheasant scent, duck scent, if it's not too old, from the looks of that tape it's kind of old, but we'll see. And, well, another pheasant. 
I guess that's it. Not real great, but a few usable things. And there's a remote control for a Garmin. Okay, a little disappointing so far, but let's dig into this box. Here's a Pete's Lock and Safe Service. All kinds of keys. Some of them are just blanks. That's about useless. By the way, in that last thing, there were needles for those syringes. But since that was in with the dog stuff, I assume that somebody was giving the dogs a shot. There's a kind of a rusty crescent wrench. Now, something like that. Come on. No good. A rather rusty channel lock. These are, there's batteries in there. I bet anything that's corroded. Yeah, yeah, I won't even get that apart. I won't mess with that. These are a thing of the past now that we have LEDs, but remember when that was the cat's pajamas, you know, about 20 years ago. Police used those too. I think they work like a baton. Safety glasses, brand new, I think. Along with a COVID mask. Well, there's another one of those. Oh. It's not worth showing you. Oh. I'll see if that works, but I kind of doubt it. I don't want to mess with it. Now, there is a heavy duty cord. Holy mackerel. I don't know what size wire that is, but look at the diameter of it. That's one of those $50 cords. Throw that off to the side. I need to dump this. You know what? There might be some goodies in this box. How many people did camels kill? Stuff all over the place. That's a masonry tool. That's junk. Rather nice Stanley hacksaws if I don't have enough of them. Now that's a weird wrench. You know what? Anything that's unusual like that, I think I will show I use in my what is it? There's a set of Vaco or Vaco, however you put it. These were good, good quality. I hope they're all in there and I'll try to that I'll save. Remember these Eiffel pliers? Now here is a set, well, I'll see if Stanley with a good tip, but looks kind of crummy. There's another extension cord, kind of light. Bungee cords you can't get enough of. Yeah, I don't know what that is. I think, I think some of this stuff Oh, I was out of the frame, sorry. I think that's mouse poison. There's a little carver on them hone. That's about Henry's side, but it's size, but it's a piece of junk, isn't it? Not sure what the purpose of that is, but it is a, a Utica, but it looks cheap. There's a candidate for rust removal. Maybe not worth messing with. Genuine vice grips, but rusty on one side. I got some work to do, don't I? That's a cheapy. There's a file. I don't know what that is. Hammer with a good handle, but it looks like a cheapy. No one likes to scrape paint. There's a nice hammer. Thor hammer. 
pretty heavy aluminum, but it's got like the nylon faces. That's nice. That's a keeper. Now that is not a keeper. Channel lock. Made in America. That's a goodie. Fuller. That's not worth keeping. That looks like a cheapie. What in the heck? Oh, that's for... I can use that to clean my grill. It needs a good grill cleaning. A C-clamp that's been modified. Which makes it about useless. Well, that's it for that box, but there were a few good things in there, weren't there? Is anyone still with me? I know I showed this before, but this is a 4-inch Wilton bullet vise, which is really the star of the show. I think I will do a cleanup on this. It looks like it's never been used, but it has been abused. Now, my buddy, when I got there, said, I got something special for you I pulled out, which I don't think is special at all, but there is a Stanley Yankee, maybe just Yankee, a screwdriver in the box, but it's been used. You know, I got a lot of these. I sure like to play with my dad's, but he had one without a spring, you know, that, but he said, that's too dangerous. And my dad didn't talk about danger very much. And there's some extra tips in there, but I don't know what this thing is for, but it looks like a gadget. All right, that aside, which supposedly is a collector's tool, but not to me so much, because they made a billion of them. This is a complete pipe set, and it's, I just looked at it here. It says Craftsman, but it's really the old style with the big old square dies. So not too desirable at all. And I guess these are the bushings here for different size pipe. Those are aluminum. Probably never used. I hate these things. And this is, I believe, not believe, this is a nutcracker. I don't know why it's in there, but it is. Let's see what else we got here. Just as I was leaving, that lady handed us, can you use this? And I said, oh yeah. It's a motion security light. But then I realized, no, this is not LED. So even though it's in the box, it's going to Goodwill or someplace. I don't want it. This looks like a skater's box, doesn't it? That they used to put roller skates in. It's aluminum. But in it is... Funny looking tool here, but I don't know what it is. It's electric, it's corded, which means it's pretty old. Let me unwrap this. Okay, I just plugged this thing in and it works. Now looking at the skater's box here, it says striker unit. So it's not made for roller skates because now I found a bag here and in the bag, apparently, came these extra blades. So this is a vibrating type tool. When you turn it on, it, you know, it's just vibrating to cut, I don't know what. But it's all gummed up. It is used, and the tag is missing here where these rivets are. And it smelled wonderful like ozone. It is a three-prong plug, so it's newer than 1959. However, and I talked about strain relievers, remember, in a recent video? Or maybe I didn't. Maybe that's not been released yet. But old enough to have a decent strain reliever, not one of the nightmare plastic ones that they started using that failed within five years. So put... Uh, if you know what this is, put it in the comments. Okay, we all know that's Ducks Unlimited, even if we're not hunters. There was a whole pile of these there, so I think they were big duck hunters. But there is a set of barbecue grill tools with about everything you can think of, including the skewers, and it says Ducks Unlimited on it, doesn't it? That's going to go to Jordan.
who is just about ready to get married and he will love this, I hope. Well, I'm finally starting to make a dent in this thing, but in this garbage can here, there's a fairly nice Stanley hacksaw. Good, great, now I got 20 hacksaws. There's a big old three quarter inch. That's scrap on it. And those look like Kmart, don't they? She said to me as I walked out, you need any bungee cords? I said, well, I can always use bungees. So there I go. Three of those. Boy, there are a lot of them. Okay, now, I think I've been through most of the miscellaneous, so I'm going to start on this big old pile. There's six boxes there. And also, before I do that, let me turn around here. I think I showed this yesterday, but here's a tank of gas, almost full. Lots more extension cords. I've never seen one like this, but this must be a hundred footer or something. But it looks like it's had some damage and been repaired, I don't know. I bet that's a hundred footer commercial. Is anyone still watching at all? Now there's six boxes here, so I'm going to open up one box here and then stop and that'll be the end of part one. And then I'll do the other five because it's getting pretty long. Oh, Stanley Surform. Hey, a fish tape. You know what a fish tape is, don't you? I know you do. Ratchets, straps, which I can always use. Power planter. You know, there's just some novelties here. What? Just, just what you would need. A big drill bit. I'm not even going to take it out. Drill a hole so you can plant something with your electric drill. What a novelty. I think that's a brick hammer. Lots of uh, carpet tape and so on. I bet that's all out of date. 3M stuff. Monkey wards. Makita. No. It's empty. Empty box. You know what that is? That's a lock picking tool. With directions. Now I can break into the Union National Bank. I want to play with that. Junk. Oh, total junk. Goodwill. Electric screwdriver. Those were worthless. Tape holder. That I can use. Drill bits. Number bits. Mostly there. And under here. Standard brand high speed bits. Small sizes are always broken off. Automotive tool kit. Yeah, you can do an overhaul to your Ford V8. Boy, there was some pouting husband when he got that thing on Christmas morning. 
or for Father's Day. I bet it ruined his whole day. Better than a necktie? Not really. And you got the 40 piece tap and die set. Continental. Oh, there's two of them. Oh, there's a metric. Oh. <laughs> oh. You think they're high speed steel? I think not. Okay, the, the Imperial one goes to Goodwill. This, and look, it's Mark 1978, metric. I am going to keep this simply because it's got the little pitch gauge here, and it might help me re-thread something, but you know they will be of the most absurd poor quality. But it's made in Japan, old enough to where it's made in Japan rather than you know where. Actually going to keep that. Well, this is interesting. Remember I just told you here that we got a electric screwdriver? Well, it's not an electric screwdriver. This is an electric lock pick. There's some locks in there. I'm going to play around with this, although I'm sure the batteries are no good. But it's called electro pick. And you know, it was right next to this thing. So I'm going to have fun playing around with some of this stuff. That I'm going to keep, believe it or not. And then we got here a kind of a possibly, potentially interesting box. There's a hammer. I think they call that a drilling hammer for concrete. You remember these before F Confusion 360? A wish snips. Three corner file, linoleum knife, tiny little Phillips screwdriver, probably poor qual. Boy, that's kind of neat. I like the shape of that. I don't know what that is. Chisels, but they're cheap ones. There's a sewing awl. I think this guy was a sucker for novelty tools. Would you like to receive this for Christmas? Ruin your whole day, wouldn't it? Cheap quality. Well, there's a genuine crescent. That's kind of nice. That's a Stanley, but is that bent? Looks bent. No idea. Another little snips. Fiberglass. That I might be able to use if it's not too poor of quality. More files. Remember what this is? I had that in one of my what is it. I think I'll put it in there again because I bet you don't know what it is. Quite a few files in here. And there's a combination lock with the lock, with the combination. Who cares? Ballantine beer. Remember Ballantine beer? Snips a couple of a fisk. I like these fisker. Oh shoot, those will go in the house. Those are good. Broken off file. Stanley knife. New general protractor in the package. You know what this is? This is, I believe, you know, that'll go in what is it? I think I know what it is. Chisels. Been sharpened a million times. There's an offset chisel. That's kind of unique. Well, that's about it. I think you know what these are. Do you? I know you do. And this. 
What is it? Here I come. Some X-Acto blades, and that's it. There's some good things in this box that I'm going to keep. Well, I've had a good time so far. I hope you have. So, with that said, I'm going to call it quits on part one. Be sure and watch part two, which will I, I will issue very shortly where I go through these last five boxes of... I don't know what's in them yet, but we'll see. I did find some treasures. Nothing as great as what I had hoped for, but it was free. See you in part two.